Hey guys, I'd like to give you a short introduction in the digital bitbox. Uh, this is the device. It's very small. It perfectly fits on a key leash. The case is very durable. And in order to set it up, all you need to do is put in the SD card, which comes with the device itself, and then plug it into your computer. Um, you need to start a digital beatbox app. It's not a Chrome extension or a browser-based application. It's a full native desktop application. And then you need to set a name and a password. The password will also protect your backup, so make sure you don't forget the password. There's no need to write down any mnemonic BIP39 words. The backup will be stored on the SD card. The backup itself is a PDF in case you trust paper more than SD cards. Uh, once the wallet is set up, you can easily go to manage backups, check your backup. You can easily verify the backup by entering your password. And you will shortly get a notice that this is a valid backup. Switching wallets is also extremely easy. You can go to backups, restore, which takes a couple of seconds. So you can easily switch between multiple wallets, even if you have multiple SD cards. If you want to have another backup in terms of uh, a redundancy, you can always uh, put in another SD card and do a backup again. Receiving coins is pretty easy. You plug in your device, enter your password, and go to receive. So I'm going to make a payment. Sent. So it should take a couple of seconds, or you can manually trigger the update. Here we go. That's my unconfirmed transaction. Spending coins is simple. All you need to do is go to the send tab, enter an address. There's also a QR code scanner built into the application. So you can plug in a QR code here, scan done. And then you need to enter the amount and press create transaction. If you don't want to verify the transaction, you can easily press continue and then you need to touch the button for more than three seconds. And the transaction will be broadcasted to the peer-to-peer -peer network. So how can I be sure that uh, this address belongs really to my device and is not something that is shown up by a compromised software? There's no screen on the device, you probably saw this. Um, for that purpose, we have the smart verification approach, which uh, requires a smartphone and the digital bitbox app. It's available for iOS and Android. Uh, first time you use it, you need to pair your digital bitbox with your smartphone. In order to do that, you need to go to Connect Mobile App on the Options tab. And oops, then you need to scan the QR code. And to prevent a man in the middle attack, there's also blink code involved of the DBB. You will see it blink two times. You need to enter two, three times. I can do that as long as I want. The longer I do it, the more security I get. I can always cancel by pushing the button. Three, I'm going, going to cancel now. And now my device is paired. Which means this screen, this is now my uh, hardware wallet screen. It's cryptographically uh, secure paired. I can verify much more complex data structure with a smartphone than with a small calculator size screen on a device. 
So once I have paired um, my smart verification app with my digital bit box, I can do neat things like verify address securely, which means I get a confirmation of the address on my smartphone, which means the address is generated on the digital bit box and encrypted sent to the smartphone. There is no possibility if your computer is compromised to uh, change this address on the smartphone. Smart verification works also for sending uh, transactions. If I create a transaction and my smart verification device is online, I get a confirmation. I can verify the address again, the amount, and I can also interactively uh, get more information. Stuff that's not possible on onboard screen. I can see the outputs, the inputs. I can even control the hash to sign. I can, it, it will generate the fees, which is non-trivial for hardware wallets at the moment. Uh, it will look up the inputs at several online APIs. And I can really interactively verify the transaction. Even if you go to extend the possibilities of signing, you could imagine signing a document uh, by verifying it on the smartphone. So I timed out, I create the transaction again, and if I'm happy with the transaction, all I need to do is push more than three seconds on the device itself, and the transaction was sent successfully to the network.